um, involved in this case today. Okay. Well, nice because, to meet you. Because you must know, you were just telling them that you thought it was corrupt down in Orange County with private judging, but you must know that Rule 2.818, none of you are complying with that. Do you want to talk about private judging? Because I really would like to talk to you about private judging. Mr. Daly, you make a lot of money. Oh, excuse me, that's assault? You don't have any right to do that, Mr. Daly. We have up here, we have I'm sorry, did you just call me crazy? Mr. Daly, you just physically assaulted my iPad where I was filming you. Anyway, Mr. Daly, nice, you are one nice of the most you. corrupt nice allegedly nice. attorneys. Take care. In private right, judging, you. and you are continuing to make money. And Mr. Daly, you started your career in the Elkins case, representing pro pers, and now you are involved in sanctioning people. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Where's the list? She said we could find it online on the JAMS website, J-A-M-S. So JAMS, a private, private business post. Well, I asked her, is that an, like an arm of the court? Like, is that, an, that like part of the courthouse? Did she, like, no. And I said, oh, like a private business? She said, yes, private business. So tomorrow we go ask for the list. I'm out at the Orange County Courthouse where I was back in 2017 and we started looking at Keith Dolnick's cases then and Keith Dolnick had a number of cases before David Weinberg and I have to say that in all my years of investigating this I was shocked at what I saw inside this courthouse today because inside this courthouse it looks like predominantly the high asset divorce cases have been moved to before either a jams judge or David Weinberg and the the public judge list, that the private judge list that was even posted in this courthouse, which it is the first that I have found that, said on the list, just like they told us yesterday in LA, that it was the JAMS temporary judge list, meaning that they have completely privatized this to JAMS, which is a private business that a number of current public judges and retired judges own stock in.